I'm talking with conductor Joanne Folletta, but I'm also talking with guitarist Joanne Folletta to give you an idea of just how busy she is. She's taken time out of her busy schedule to come talk with us today about the chamber music concert that's coming up, part of the Virginia Arts Festival. Joanne, welcome. Always Thank nice to have you, you with Dwight. us. Oh, so nice to see you and be yeah. here. You are, of course, a guitarist. That is your first love. It is my first love. It's my f- the instrument I started my journey into the music world with the classical guitar and it's an instrument that has remained very close to me but it's also an instrument that I don't get to play mm. very often but when I do it's what what a treat it is for me Dwight and and now you know to have a chance to play with members of the Virginia mm, Symphony yes. and to you know to to make music with them in a different way is such a pleasure for me well the guitar of itself is an intimate instrument and it then is. you get to play chamber music, which in some ways is the ultimate uh, musical conversation. It really is. And I think it teaches you a lot about the orchestra, too, because mm-hmm. when you get to play chamber music, you realize, uh, at least as a conductor, I realize that the the um, the most excellent approach we can have to orchestral music is to think of ourselves as a, as a very large chamber ensemble, mm-hmm. where we're always keeping our ears open to every nuance that everyone does. So it's kind of the ideal way of making music. So to be able to do that and with people that you love and people that yeah. you know for so long, to me, is uh, is just the best. Are any of these uh, works transcriptions? Uh, yes. I, in fact, a, uh, a number of them are. The Lescano, the Cuban Sketches, is a transcription, although he wrote the guitar part. The Bizet, of course, comes mm-hmm. from Carmen, from the opera. The uh, Pagnini Guitar Quartet, uh, in this case, Robert has transcribed the viola part for clarinet. So oh, very good. Very dramatic sort of piece for clarinet. And the Kreutzer, we, I love to include that because that is the only piece that was actually written for flute, clarinet, and guitar. So we say that's our only original piece. Yeah. All of the others are transcriptions that we've done. Mm-hmm. Paganini himself, I understand, played the guitar. How does his music feel under your fingers? Very good. I mean, at Paganini, well, what an amazing, amazing musician, but... Supposedly, Dwight, he went through a, a romantic interlude with a woman who claimed that she hated the sound of the violin. Okay. <laughs> so he set the violin aside for a little while. I mean, I don't think he stayed with her that long. But, but during that time, he took up the guitar. And um, he was a wonderful guitarist, and he's greatly enriched our repertoire because of that woman, strangely, and, and, uh, and wrote a number of pieces for, that include guitar. And they, they work really well, and they're fun to play. The piece by Lescano I was not familiar with, but having listened to it, what a delightful, oh, sultry uh, Latin piece yes. that is. Yes. Debbie Cross found it, and we, we fell in love with it. And, and I still remember when we were first struggling to learning it and playing it together, um, Debbie told Robert and myself, she said, you know, you two have to watch a few episodes of Dancing with the Stars <laughs> before the next rehearsal. <laughs> so it's that uh-huh. kind of a piece. Yeah. You have to really be in a kind of a Latin mood mm-hmm. to play it. Mm-hmm. All right. It's coming up Monday night, Norfolk Academy, and you can get your tickets by calling the Arts Festival, 282-2822. Joanne Folletta and friends again entertaining us with just some wonderful chamber music and uh, a good time guaranteed for all, as always. Joanne, Thank thank you very much. Thank you, Dwight.